Um, this desk is very small. It looks big, but it's very small in reality. It's only 32 channels. And we are going to talk about what channels are and the different features of a mixing desk. So there's only 32 channels <coughs> and uh, is fitted with a computer which you will learn to uh, see in the next few days you can watch this monitor to see the desk computer which is used to allow us to perform a lot of tasks related to uh, this machine and then uh, um, this desk features also something that we call automation you see if it's working um, in the old days it was done by people in the old days it was done like uh, when we were performing the final mix, the band and the producer were all sitting behind the desk and all their hands moving faders and playing with it. They had that, um, dance on Yes, that's, that's, that's one of the many examples of old school mixing and today we do that with automation. But it's a facility to basically have the desk perform automatically some tasks without, our, without us touching the little pots and faders that we see uh, on this desk. So this desk has got what we say uh, motorized faders because they have some motors that will allow them to move independently like one example of so you can take a look at motorized faders. And so like for example with one fader I can move a whole lot. That seems quite weird, isn't it? But that's exactly what motorized faders are about. Plus, um, this desk is able to move the faders by itself without me touching them. Obviously, I have to program them, but that's another story.